How's it going? Brian. Brian? Brian? You know Brian? Yeah. He's a good guy, isn't he? Talk to him over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's out of breath, man. <laughs> hey, man, the dogs are out. Be careful, dude. Yeah. Don't go that way. What department do you work for? Kansas City, Missouri. As many problems over here, you know, as Missouri does, crime-wise. Our crime rates are what? much higher. How could you fix that? Yeah. More cops? Mm, well, it's just a different dynamic, you, you know. We have more people. Right. So, uh, I don't know if more cops is the answer. Less laws? There's, there's no easy. Less laws? There, there's so many laws right now, we can't even enforce them all. That's right. <laughs> That's what I say. I ask you, like, as far as the crime rate, I wonder what the percentage is. I think our homicide's up to, here's Brian, um, 75? This year? Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is... That's more than KCK. Oh, yeah. Way more. Yeah, it's way more than KCK, but... Last year we had a 20% decline in homicide rates, you know, but it's so that's good. Up. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> but what are most program. homicides related to? Um, you got those I would yeah, nicotine drugs. sticks. And some of them were DV. We just had a uh, whoa, we're all gonna get smashed. We just had a DV where three people got killed, you know, inside of a house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I say. It's normally like uh, those are those are tough. Well, I mean, it's it. It's like emotion or uh, victimless crimes, right? Like where there's no legal ramification or justification or recourse to That's uh not victimless there are three victim homicide victims mm -hmm. what are you talking about i'm saying like drugs so like, like if, drug my, if my if you get ripped uh, off in the drug market you can't take them to court like you could if i got ripped off in the hamburger market what you, are you saying now what i'm saying is that a lot of homicides are related to victimless yeah, crimes like victimless crime drugs. being like oh, selling so drugs like you two were selling drugs and then got in an argument right I, she ripped me off and so i yeah. kill her because i can't take her to court Right. You know what I mean? If, but if, we're, if I was selling hamburgers to McDonald's and they rip me off, I take them to court. Yeah. They make a, you know, there's an arbitrator there. They make a decision. Yeah. And so, it's like, could we reduce violence. those crimes, the violent crimes, by you reducing victim with crimes? Legalize drugs. Or just stop, you know, give them a recourse to have uh, a more suitable way to solve disputes. If drugs were legalized. I highly doubt people like. I'm not gonna go, oh yeah, I'm gonna go do heroin because it's legal now. Hey, that's, yeah, I wouldn't do heroin. That's stupid. But. <laughs> oh right. I have to see fact that like somebody else who you work for can tell you what you can and can't put in your body, regardless of whether you're yeah, a cop or a lab tech that. or a fucking whatever, is not like <laughs> them owning you. Like you can't go yeah. home on the weekend and like they are paying what you, you want. Well, and they're paying you to provide a service as long as you provide. Oh, sorry, the news is cameras. As long as, as, long <laughs> as you'll you, be on the news, and that's as long okay. As you provide that Actually, service correctly and you perform to the to the standards that they want you to, it shouldn't matter what you do on your yeah, off time. That, there's a valid, valid argument. For My whole point to it all was that I think you can reduce these violent crimes that happen over the drug trade by getting rid of the enforcement of like the pretty much trading of a good or service, right? Like, yeah. I mean, I'm a felon for the victim. I call myself a victim of the war on drugs. I was selling pot yeah. when I was younger. And so, like, well, I didn't Yeah, know. and pot laws have changed a lot, you know? And, and back in, see, another thing people don't understand is. I mean, have you arrested people for pot? You know, because it's still oh, illegal yeah. here? Well, I know that it's I mean, large case, quantities. It's it's other, but still, it doesn't matter, though. That's inconsistent. When rolling stops, it turns into a huge search because they say that yeah. it's small. It's crazy. Yeah, well, see, here's, here's just the thing that some people don't understand. It's like, so if you two are selling dope and you shoot at her and she shoots at, shoots at you and she hits you, but you don't die and you don't want to prosecute, well, we all know that she shot you and you shot her, but we, there's nothing we can do about it. We can't put the, her in jail because you... Why would it work that way for a drug law, Because then? you don't want to prosecute. Well, hang on. Okay. But at the same time, two weeks later, you come back and get take it out on her, revenge, and end up shooting up a house and shoot a three-year-old in the head. So now how are we going to put you in jail? Well, I think whoever I should... Right? We could have put you in jail the first time to prevent the three-year-old from getting shot in the head, but she didn't want to press charges against well, I hear you. you. But you if this if this conversation actually started over us selling weed, then I would stay. We still have to start the conversation where it begins, and that shouldn't have been a crime to begin with. She and I might not have shot well, at each other. The police never even knew about that crime. Well, well I know that. Yeah. And it was never on our radar. But right, but let's know. just say it came out. Like, okay. Well, or, so or I'm this, saying is our, this is how we stop that. We get you with dope, put a case on you, and put you in jail. Right. And we do that to both of you, because we know sooner or later, you guys are gonna hurt somebody innocent. But what if somebody that I know? But do you understand that, like, your guys' law already hurt somebody that was innocent first? How? Because us trading marijuana isn't it, that, that big of a don't deal. Don't use marijuana. That's. Well, a, I mean. Well, okay, you know, but it's still. It doesn't happen. But hold on. Marijuana. If, let's just call it property. Okay. Yeah, no, but that's what I'm saying is you, you either have the freedom to marijuana. own things, like if the government says I can own everything but this, they've still said yes to everything else, and that leaves the door open to say no to all the things. So, like, sadly, with freedom comes responsibility. But I think if. Right now, so like the drug trade, 
more people might sell marijuana if it was less risky, right? But instead they're, they're hustling a, a suitcase full of crack because it's just as risky, the suitcase full of marijuana and the suitcase full of crack is the same risk of smuggling it, right? You either get it by or you don't. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, yeah. But the profit margin. But I'm saying the profit margin is much higher with the harder drugs. And so that's how that happens. And that's why harder drugs are even less safe. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say that all drugs would be safer if there was no right. laws against them, but it would definitely be the case in yeah. some extent. See, and I just want to say that, that I don't advocate that what I. Uh, what I'm advocating would make less heroin users. I don't no, think, no. I think that is what it is. No, yeah, that is no, what it is, because we have the most stringent laws against no, that and it still happens. Yeah. They get hardcore drugs in the maximum security prisons. I mean, you can't just legalize everything because it would, because it's easy. But you can. No, I don't think so, because it, I don't think there'd be any more people using heroin if yeah, it was legal. there's going to be a lot more people using No heroin. way, why? That's what look I at said, alcohol, too, it's yeah. legal. When, you think, the prohibition, when it but do you think there's more people using alcohol because it's legal than yes, when? Yes, absolutely. Huh? I don't think there's there's more alcoholics because it's legal. I absolutely think there are. Yes. So if it was illegal, there'd be less alcoholics. Yes, alcoholics there. would still get they got they got a need. They absolutely. Think You've about seen addiction. How, big, how many people do you think when alcohol became legal started drinking? You know, later, check out. Over time, I guarantee you, it's a lot more. I, if I alcohol was illegal, I would. No, no, no. That's a great point. No when prohibition was lifted, there was a spike, right? It, but it leveled off, right and then it grew. It's not growing. It grew. It grew exponentially. No way. Yes. They're it's leveled off now because well, everybody does it when they turn 21. Wouldn't it be like... Uh, I don't do it. It's, <laughs> yeah. Okay, say, say, al say alcoholism really is a problem. That it really is a problem. But like, say it's like exponentially growing. Granted, that's like a, a societal problem, but is, shouldn't it be like something to be said <laughs> that we actually have the freedom to fuck ourselves up this way? Yeah, like, but you're, you're hurting people in the process. How many people die each year from drunk driving? Well, how many people die? It's not that many. Really? Yeah, but even with five thousand, even compared to how many people there are and stuff like right. that is a ton of people. Twenty-five thousand deaths. It's a lot. I, just, I don't see some huge. I guess. I, I guess. I guess we're both of... arguing different points. Like I don't think we save any more lives with it being drunk driving being illegal. If, if hey, if drunk driving only hurt the person who was drunk, I wouldn't I care. I did it. Especially if you hit drunk driving laws don't keep people from drunk driving. And they don't save lives. I don't drive drunk. Well, that's because you made the choice. This is not because it's against the law. That's like so you would drive drunk if it wasn't? Have you ever drove drunk? Pro maybe. You would drive drunk if it wasn't legal? If it was accepted by society, yeah. If it was, I mean, there's a lot of things. Well, hold on, hold on. It might still, like, oh. it's not illegal to drive drunk. But if you kill no, somebody, to I'm just saying if in this analogy, it was oh. if it's not illegal to drive drunk, but and you said you would, if you hit somebody or damage your property, yeah. you still have to replace that. You're still held accountable for that. Well, I mean, the laws could be different. Well, I don't think it changed. Would there ever be a law where it's okay to break someone's property and not be held accountable for well, that? You're, you're advocating the law to, to do whatever you want to your body. But that's right. your hold property. On. But, but hold on. Yeah, but just you, because I advocate that doesn't mean, hold on. Just because I advocate that doesn't mean you're removed from any responsibility. So if I smoke crack, no, and you still have a personal response. People destroy right, so that's what I'm saying. So like right now, what, if this analogy walks out to its logical conclusion, if I'm sober and hit a van full of people and it's just an accident, I shouldn't go to jail or have to not be held accountable for those I actions? be held accountable. So then what does it matter my mindset? <laughs> because you're less likely to hit somebody if you're sober than if you are drunk. Hold on. But I'm still saying is that like if it, like it's, I'm, we're, we're advocating different things here. Cause like I'm saying that like DUI laws don't stop you from drunk driving. And it does, they, in fact, they, but it, it, does. it really doesn't. The people who drive drunk, no, it does. ask every, every, every person you pull over now from for, for DUI, no revocation sport, ask them, you think ask them why they drove drunk. You know what I mean? Because if, if their answer is because fuck the law, I'd be surprised. They'd just be like, I thought I could make it. Or like they weren't thinking. That that's not a justification. Right. Okay. But I'm just saying is that. I don't mind. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. DUI laws don't I, prevent people from drunk driving. It's, but what they do do is like harm people. So like a guy who like .08 and was like two blocks from being home now goes to jail, loses his job, his family doesn't eat, da 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 da. Risk That's, risk reward. I understand that. But like if he just would have made it home, it would have been fine. And so like if one, t you're saying that if you arrested him on Friday and on Saturday he would have killed the family of kids, that's the thing. But you like that's the minority report, the movie analogy. You can't really prevent a crime. Like th there's no. There's no guarantee he was going to hit that family tomorrow, right? Well, you, it's hard to prove but, a negative, though. You right, can't but what I'm saying is, so like, it doesn't it doesn't justify happen. right claiming you prevent something that happened by like harming a bunch of other people in Who's the process. That? Well, that's State? what the laws say. They say like since this DUI law happens, we save lives, but they really can't prove that. But there's no way to prove it. You can look right. at numbers. But what I'm can, saying is, statistically, and so so if that's the case, if you if you can't actually say, prove you know it, what? statistically. But we can actually prove due to the DUI laws. I'm just saying, I think there. less people would drive drunk if they just knew they were absolutely held accountable for their actions. 
You know what I'm saying? Oh, so yeah, I absolutely know what you're saying. So it's not a if law. Every time it's not a law. The law I'm just saying, no, no, not the law. Forget the law. Let's just say it's known by society that like if you break someone's shit, you have to fix it. And so it doesn't matter if you're sober or drunk. And so I would make the decision that like, I don't know how to drive a Hemi. I'm, I'm completely sober, but I don't know how to drive a Hemi. I'm not gonna drive it because that might have too much power. I might crash and I might actually have to so pay for somebody's shit. in a perfect shit. world, you're saying if no matter what happens, so, if sober or not sober, if you hit a car, you pay for the, you're held accountable. You're held accountable. Everyone should be held to the same level of accountability. Do you think that's possible? I do. If we yes. really, we, it, it, it would be very difficult now because of where we're at yes. and how far things have gotten. But I think that it, through time, that would be much better than... <laughs>